Okay, so we land on a planet and we find life. How do we tell if it's intelligent? Anthony here for DNews, and there have been so many amazing discoveries in the last year that make our finding life on other planets more and more likely. Just a couple months ago, we found out that more than 60 billion planets in our galaxy could support life as we know it. But that's kind of the question, right? Why would it have to be life as we know it, as we recognize it. We think a lot about that in terms of the potential physical appearance of an alien creature. If the gravity was different, if the atmosphere was different, how would they look? But what about an extraterrestrial that thinks differently? How do you gauge an alien's intelligence when the only type of high intelligence we know of is us. In a recently published paper called Profiling Non-Human Intelligence, Denise Herzing says that we currently have two major ways to evaluate the intelligence of other species. One is by looking at the physical complexity of their brains and bodies. The other is through cognitive or IQ testing. And there are problems with both because both revolve around just how egotistical we are, humans are, as a species. First of all, our cognitive tests really only check for a human sort of intelligence. We design the problems around what we think of as important or difficult. That human-centric view has actually caused us to underestimate animal intelligence here on Earth for years. A dolphin would not be able to understand the written instructions of an IQ test, but they don't need complex speech or written language like we do. They have the ability, though, to solve complex spatial reasoning tasks, and they have a high level of self-awareness and social intelligence. And to look at the complexity of a brain isn't really enough because an octopus doesn't have an incredibly complex brain, but it does have very complicated, independently operating nervous systems in each of its eight arms that make up for that. Single-celled organisms and some insects are not particularly bright on their own, but they have an incredible ability to work together in ways that exceed their own individual intelligence. And it's because of those sorts of discoveries about animals on our own planet that a third type of intelligence testing has gained popularity. The ability to signal and communicate within your own species and the ability to be social within a species. When you take those things as a measure of intelligence, you allow for things like bees waggle dancing in a hive to tell others about food, wolves howling in specific ways to members of their packs, or chimps making lifelong friends. So using those three different measures, Dr. Herzing's team came up with a new system called Complex to test for intelligence. It looks at a species' neural complexity, communication, social interaction with other members of its species, and interspecies interaction, and tries to rate them all in a bunch of different attributes. That way, if we come across a living thing on another planet with an insect, body, we don't discount that it could have a brain capable of very complex thought. The only problem is that it takes time to make assessments like this, and it would be kind of hard to land on an alien planet and decide whether something is friendly or smart when it is charging at you at full speed. And then there's the big question of whether life will look so different on another planet that we won't even recognize it to test it. So is there really any way for us to know intelligent life when we see it? What would be your test? I think that if they laugh at Muppets, they're probably pretty smart. Let me know down below and subscribe for more D-News.